good evening everybody we are now nearing the end of our week so it's friday this is your diet doctor dr josephine grace rojo and as per advertised this morning this is a very special day because it's the birthday of my brother andrew Hello. so as you can see we've been uh he's been away for quite some time because he is a seafarer or marino marinero marinero Marinero, mariner, mar, uh, marin, marinero, 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 seaman, seaman. Man. Sea man, sea man. So, <laughs> uh, he's an engineer and worked as a seafarer or seaman, no? For so he's been working for the last eleven years and mm, been awesome. spending his birthday on board. So it's the first time in eleven years that he will be spending it with us. So, uh, he just came home uh, about a week ago. And right now, he is here uh, celebrating, and we are here, of course, in our clinic since we are one family unit. So, we are okay. Di namin kailangan magmas because we are in the same household. We are practically in the same household. So, if you have questions, you are free to ask them in the comment section, okay? Kasi, as what I mentioned this morning, uh, he was actually diagnosed with fatty, fatty liver. liver. What, when was that? Hmm... 2016? 2016. Mm. Okay, so 2016, ano pa ako nun? I think I was just about one year since I had my license, no? Mm. I graduated and got uh, my my degree in medicine. Mm. And you were already having fatty liver. And the first thing I ask is, ano, grabe ka ba uminom? Uh, <laughs> that is the usual question. Avoid uh, red meat. Avoid red meat. Mm. Avoid kung ano-ano pa yun. So, the typical. So, usually, ganun din. So, sabi ko, hindi rin, halos ako, hindi rin makapaniwala. Are you sure? Baka din na-downplay mo lang. Baka grabe ka uminom. Pero hindi ka lang nagsasabi na ito. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, you said you were really conscious. And then, you were even running then. Di ba? Nag-ano ka nag... Run. run. How how often do you run? So you're quite physically active. Mm, okay. Five five times per week, si Google. Five times. Ma thirty week. minutes per run. Thirty minutes per day, every per day. day. Oh. Five times a week. Okay, mm. so that is actually somewhat uh, the ideal when it comes to physical activity. So by medicine, by standard medicine, a physical activity of thirty minutes, moderate physical activity, five times a week is already considered optimum. So, you cover that. Tapos, hindi ka pa ninigarilyo, hindi rin umiinom, and we really got no clue. So, akala natin, wala, baka, yun nga, as usually, yung sinasabi, baka familial, baka nasa genes talaga yung pagiging unhealthy. So, uh, we also look at that. And soon after, uh, binigyan ka ng maraming gamot, di ba? Oh, um, liver yes, plus. Yes. Liver plus. Tapos, ano, in a... Mga three times siguro ng medical exam na fatty liver ang result. Oo, mm. pero buti na lang you were allowed to still work on board. Oo, oh, kahit mm. nang basta may ano, may, may binili ka na gamot. Na, oh, at parang uh, promise ha, ino may yung gamot plus, mo. Ganun, uh, usually na, mga liver supplements uh, uh, yun. Uh, and I think since you know that I've already only been into fasting and low carb for only, ano, for only... Uh, more than two years ago, mga early 2019, and that's also the time na uh, we tried doing it in the whole family. Um, so, what did we do first? Uh, low carb or fasting? Low carb, nung una yung sinabi mo sa akin na avoid na ang rice, ganito. kasi sa akin yung ang rice ko, mga three cups or more talaga. Per meal. Per meal. Oh. Per meal. Tapos, wa, wa, ano sabi ko, wag mo nang pakialaman yung rice ko. Oh. Ganito, ganito, exercise naman ako, ganito, ganito. Oh. Hanggang ano, yung sinabi mo, try ko nga one week lang. Tapos oh. gano'n. Hanggang in-extend ko ng one month, hanggang nasanay na ako na, ano, na, na wala no na. rice. Tapos, uh, if you don't know, no, uh, Mandru is actually super fond of rice talaga. So, noon, nung hindi pa masyadong uso yung unlimited rice, kapag merong uh, restaurant na bagong open na unlimited rice, parang ikaw yung unang-unang nakakaalam. Mm. Diba? Paborito mo nga yung mang inasal. Mang inasal, mang inasal. Kasi, oh, isang ulam lang, dami-dami mo ng rice mm. and, and proud na proud ka pa nun. And that is somewhat normal for other mm. people, especially like in your barkada, mm. in your friends, diba? So, uh, those are the things na akala natin, minamalit natin before. So, good thing na you tried. Uh, give us an idea how you were before. So, you told me na as a usual typical student, college student, 
computer boy. Uh, for example, nagka-counter-strike kami. Uh, Tapos, yung in-order pa lagi namin, yung ano lang, Pasi Canton, at saka Montinjo. Tapos, hanggang magutom naman, or order naman ng Pasi Canton, Itlog, at saka Montinjo. Ganun lang palagi. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun. Um, Montinjo, Itlog, mm. at Pasi Canton. Mm. So, while, while, ano no, while mm. playing. So, I don't know if sino dito yung mga kabatch namin, or have children na kabatch natin. But I think we have around mga kakilala talaga na as early as now, hindi na dialysis na. Oh, Do you man, have someone oh. na mga like mga kaibigan or at mm. least kakilala ng kakilala? Mm. Kami din. Uh, we have ka- yung isang ang, I think friend ni Manang na ang ng sister namin. He's even a priest now. And I think at the age of 25 ata or ano, nagda-dialysis na siya. And what's common among them? We also have a family friend, yung anak ng friend ni Mami. Mm. Nagda-dialysis na din in, at starting at the early age of 20s. So we really have to to make sure na we won't fall into that trap. Kasi mm. yung problem ngayon, the children are actually eating worse food than the parents. Mm, diba? Yeah. Oh. Kasi our parents our, are not exposed to all of these processed foods. Tapos tayo, our generation are actually very used to to taking all these processed foods. Yun nga mga seasoning, na mga artificial seasoning oh. na punong-puno ng MSG. Mm. No? Nang, ang brand niya ay Blanc Magic. Sarap. <laughs> Dapat hindi oh. mo sabihin, oh. Blanc Sarap. Okay. Or, ewan, ano oh. ginagawa niyo nun? Sabi mo. Kahit sa itlog, ang wala ng asin, yun na lang. Yun na, ah, diretso na, no. Kasi masarap eh. Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, kasi masarap. At alam nyo ba, pinapapak daw nila yon Like ang sachet nun, ng oh, seasoning, okay. pinapapak nila. I cannot imagine. Kasi nga, isang sachet lang nga nilalagay yan in one kilo na pork, in one mm-hmm. kilo chicken. Tapos oh. sa inyo, nilalagay nyo sa kamay, mm-hmm. and pinapapak ng ganyan. Mm-hmm. So that's really grabe. Sobrang, sobrang ano, sobrang, um, sobrang, oo, oh, oh, hardcore. <laughs> so, and, uh, we really have to be very thankful na kahit pa paano, buhay pa tayo, na hindi pa nasira yung kidney natin, na nabigyan pa tayo ng, ng pagkakataon that we were able to to live this long and more more importantly, na na-discover na natin ang lifestyle na to. So, ano ba yung typical food when it comes to ano, to barko? Like um, every like uh, you I know pareho tayo we are all foodies mahilig tayo sa mga uh, sarap na pagkain talaga so sa barko kasi ano eh, you I know you are very well fed yung ang meron kayong chef at mm, top kasi, of the world talaga yung class ng food so oh, kasi first sa, year yung first year mo na pagsakay sa, sa sa barko talaga ano nang 3 months provision ang tawag doon provide then nang tapos nang per person may budget din for example 10 dollars per meal or mm. per day nang ano bali sobra talaga yung sobra, meat sobra. ano Bro. Tapos kaso lang, madali mo ubos yung fresh mga vegetables, uh, yung ano, yung, maling mm, makuo, kaya... Kasi hindi na, hindi, madali oh, masira. Lalo na pag may biyahe na malayuan, like for example, tag two months. Oh, two oh, months. Okay, no. um, uh, ano na agad. Like for example, anong country yun? From what country to what country? Uh, Canada to Japan. Uh, uh, or I think China meron kang ma- China to Africa ba yun? Ah, Man, China yun? to Africa. Madali ma- lang yan. Ma- one month lang. One month lang or, yan. Or, okay. Ma- pag ano, yun, mga ano... Kaya mga kung ano palagi, yung ulam lang at saka kanin na oh, uh, medyo... Pair up, uh, yung parang mas regular na nandyan, mm, na something reliable. Oh, reliable oh. na ganun. Na kahit parang as much as you want to stay healthy, like yung definition natin of healthy kasi may mga salad, greens, oh, fruits, no? So yeah. those are fresh. So yun yung uh, definition natin yung healthy. So with your provision na limited yun, especially with long biyahe, oh. na nauubos talaga in the mm. long run, eventually you were left with the frozen ones or yung madali we preserve. So, bigas, hindi naman yun nasisira. Oh. And then, yung frozen foods, nasa ref lang. Mm. So, parang typically, mas marami yung nakakain nating uh, meat lang. Meat, meat and carbs. carbs. Meat oh. and carbs. Okay? So, uh, gano'n yan katagal? How was it? Nasanay ka na ba? Or, uh, kailan mo na feel na nagde-deteriorate ka na? Kasi, as no, I can remember, na payat ka the whole time when we were growing up. Oh. Diba? Never kang lumaki. Oh, Never kang lumaki. Noong 2000, <laughs> hindi na papigil, noong 2018. Noong 2018 <laughs> lang. So that is already 8 years ka na to work. Oh, 8 uh, years to work. Uh, Balik 2016, noong nagsimula na nagka-fatty liver ako, tapos ma- ang SGPT ba yun? SGPT. SGPT. Nalala ko, yung, yung normal range niya, ng 0 to 49. Mm. Noong 2017, ano na ako, ng... Si- 71. 71. 71. Hanggang nag-ano na ako sa low carb, na ganito. Mm. 
Tapos ang paramedical ako, ang result, 9. 9. From nine. 0 to 49 naging 9. Oh, uh, from wala, 17. Wala akong tinake na ma... Wala na, na, to think before that, you were taking medicine. Oh, na yung sinasabi ni Latte. Oh, ma, same ano, pa din. Same pa oh, din. Na, wala ano, pa din. Or kung oh, meron mang changes, siguro minus 2, minus oh, ano. Pero still very elevated. Not tapos normal ang, talaga. Tapos yung sugar ko, nasa 100 na, sabi ng doktor, border na daw, na mm-hmm. yun, magpaglumampas dyan, baka... Diabetic ka na talaga. Oo, oh, ganun. Mm-hmm. Ano, nag-normal at 92, ay, ay, mga 92, oh, ganun. Below 100, oh. below 100. Nag-norm, nag-normalize lahat, nag, nag, bali nag-improve lahat ng ano. Mm, ng bl- ng oh. blood chemistry values. Oh, bali, i-compare mo yung ano, nagdagpa ano ako sa medical, ano namin, sa IGEA. Nagpa-print ako ng mga luma pa. Oh, okay. Ganun lang palagay yung mataas palagay yung SGPT ko, tapos bigla na lang naging 9. Oh. Oh, Yeah, because uh, SGPT, so for those na hindi alam, pareho lang sila ng ALT, uh, alkala, uh, alanine transferase. So those are mga, ano, na, na, na mga liver enzymes na supposedly mababa sila. If they are already elevated, ibig sabihin nun, meron ka ng part ng liver mo, na liver cells na nasisira. They're already bursting at lumalabas na sila sa iyong system. Mm. Okay, so that's okay. the reason. So if they're elevated, it's already a sign of liver damage. Okay? Mm. So, the only way actually, I think I made a post about that, how to really love your liver, how to take care of your liver, is just to stop eating. Hindi naman nung hindi ka na talaga kakain, but you really have to eat, stop eating. Akala natin yung mga gamot lang na nakakasira ng liver, yung alcohol lang nakakasira ng liver, but actually, everything na pinapasok natin sa ating katawan, it will all process by liver. Except sa mga gamot na hindi dumadaan sa liver. So, for example, yung mga sublingual na gamot, yung mga, yung mga mm. like, katapres, clonidine, na biglang nilalagay ah. sa ilalim ng gila. So, yun ay uh, derecho. Kasi maraming blood vessels dyan, and naa-absorb yan dyan. So, hindi siya napaprocess sa liver. It goes directly to the bloodstream. Ah. Kaya, mabilis yung effect niya. Ang tawag dyan ay first pass effect. Kasi, lahat, supposedly, kapag kinakain natin from our mouth to our stomach, dadaan muna sa liver. So, that's ah. the first pass effect. Dadaan muna. So, kapag hindi siya dumaan sa liver, so, na-eliminate mo yung first pass effect. Hindi siya nag-process sa liver. So, kahit pagkain actually natin, if we do it so often, if we do it so frequently, especially with with uh, food that are demanding so much work with our liver, eventually, magigive up yung liver natin. Okay? So, nakikita mo, meron ibang tao na hindi masyadong mahilig kumain, pero grabe yung mga food supplements because they can afford it all. Actually, they're all okay as well. Pero, nililimit nila yung kain nila. So, we cannot really sabi natin, i-underestimate yung effect ng food. Food is still burden to our liver and most especially yung type of food. So noon when you've had fatty liver tapos na may ano kami yung na ganun nangyari na may isa kami uh, ng uh, coworker ko na mm. ano pero sa sa ibang bar ko na mm. ano lang. Yun nangyari sa kanya nang nang binaba sa sa tawi-tawi k- oh. kasi hindi na sa maka maka ano makabangon sa higaan niya. Mm. Dahil pagod na pa kami yung food supplement na dala, may oh. mga ano ano lahat ng oh. protection na lang oh. no. Oh. Pagod kami ng ano mga food supplement tapos ano yun na basta na ano sa ng kidney failure. Oh. Okay. So usually uh, kidney and liver are the two tawag nating elim- uh, metabolic uh, na organs that is eliminating the waste in our system. Kapag meron mga pagkain o meron mga gamot, ina-indicate yan. Paano ang elimination process nila? Is it hepatic or uh, nephrotic? So, kung hepatic, sa liver siya minametabolize para ma-excrete yung byproduct niya or through li- or through, through kidneys. However, as we are one one organism, yung organ systems natin, kahit iba-iba, they are all working under the same synchrony, under the same response. So, kapag nasira actually yung liver mo, most likely, eventually, it will only be a matter of time na masira na rin yung kidneys mo. Or the other way around, kung yung kidneys mo yung masira, pwede rin yung liver, or pwede simultaneously silang nasira. And, the saddest part about this is, we've been barking at the wrong tree. Akala natin, yung sa, kasi kahit, ma, kahit mahirap paniwalaan na hindi ka umiinom, sige. So, given na hindi ka umiinom at wala kang bisyo. Umiinom na uh, Oh, ngayon. Minsan. Minsan. Oh, I, I, we understand. Uh, pero, kasi before, basta fatty liver, 
immediately ina-associate sa inom, especially with sa mga seaman, no? Kasi alam natin, all, uh, all male yan, all male on board, every weekend, walang mm. trabaho. Tapos ang pulutan. Ang pulutan, mm. tapos uh, libre lahat, uh, mm. you, you can buy your own, ano, your own liquors, kung mm. ganon. So, akala natin, ganon lang. And since na-rule out na yon ibig sabihin, sabihin natin, na sure na hindi ka na uminom. So, the next thing na ating titingnan talaga is your red meat. Kasi, kasi akala na, as yun talaga yung pinagsasabi, yung red meat talaga mm. yung nakakasira. But now, nung time na bumaba yung, nag-normalize yung SGPT mo from 72? 71. From 71, naging 9. Nine. Ano yung kinakain mo? Ano lang, inang meat lang. <laughs> Bali, nag, ano ako tinatawag na OMAD, yung oh, one, man, meal one meal a day. Kasi pag una-una, nag-skip lang ako ng breakfast. Okay. Tapos hindi na ako, nag, ah, nag-lunch na lang ako. At saka yung breakfast at lunch ko, isa na isa lang. Na lang. Pero yung mga ulam na lang yung kinakain oh. ko. Tapos nang uli, nag-ano na ako, nag-hanang dinner na lang, oh. five o'clock. Oh. Lahat na yun. Pero ulam lang din. Kaya busog na busog talaga oh. ang, ang feeling ng nang busog sa kanin. Oo. Uh-huh. Yun talaga yung feeling na busog lang sa ulam uh-huh. na pero konting ulam lang. Konting ulam. Uh-huh. Yung amount. Pero mm. parang yung feeling sa chan mo na, ba, na mabigat. Uh, mabigat. Uh-huh. Busog na busog na busog. Kasi yung, Satisfied. Oo. Uh, kasi especially yung mga papa na, no, yung mga daddy, mm. hindi talaga maniniwala. Sasabihin na hindi ako mabubusog kung walang kanin. Mm. Yun yung pinaka misconception. Pero the feeling that you feel actually, yung feeling effect, yung puno, it's just a matter of mechanical stretch yung ating stomach. And you can fill it up by uh, any any kind of things like yung iba nga, water lang. Kung dadamihan mo yung tubig, yung sakit sa tiyan na dulot ng pagpuno, you can still feel that. It's just that yung water, madaling makuha. It's just a matter of minutes, mawawala na yon. But with the real dense, no, na heavy foods, very wrong, very wrong na yung misconception na yon. Akala nila sa, sa kanin lang sila mabubusog. In fact, yung busog na mafe-feel mo with purely ulam, mas matagal mawawala. That's mm. why we, we can sustain OMAD or one meal day. Kumain ka ng 5 o'clock, kayang-kaya mo kumain ulit the next day around ng 5 o'clock din. Mm. Kasi sa pa, na, medyo mas, mas naiintindihan ko yung, mm. yung effect. Na, dahil na, na nag-ano ako ng, ano, ng book mo na, na perfect at last. Wait, wait. Yes, na, yung book one. Na, ang carbo, mas nagpapagutong pa sa'yo na activate yes. yung hormone. Ano ba yung ghrelin? Ba yung, na, pag, ghrelin hormone. Na gano'n na, na parang hungry ka, parang gutom ka pa din na oh. o, kahit dami ka nang kinain. Ang problem with with ghrelin hormone kasi, uh, tumataas siya kapag bumababa yung sugar mo sa katawan. And yung hmm. sugar mo sa katawan, bumababa if merong insulin na nagpapababa. Pero yung insulin na yan, wala sana yan dyan. If walang trigger na, 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 palabasin, na palabasin siya. And yung number one na trigger ng insulin spike or yung insulin secretion sa katawan natin is basically carbohydrates. So the more you eat carbohydrates, in simpler terms, the more you eat rice and kahit pandesal, mas lalo kang gugutumin. Kaya't maya't maya kang gugutumin. And it may sound impossible sa mga taong hindi pa talaga nakatry na mag-OMAD, sa mga taong hindi pa nag-intermittent fasting, at sa mga taong never pang nagsimulang kumain ng isang araw ng walang kasamang, ng walang kasamang carbohydrates, they cannot imagine. Because the only kind of feeling that they ever experience is the one with carbohydrates, which is every 2 to 3 hours, gutom. Di ba? From time time, gutom na naman. Tapos sinasabi, hindi yung kinakain ko nga, pandesal lang sa umaga. Galit na naman yung chanda. <laughs> <laughs> Meron nga ako mga kakilala. So ano yung kinakain mo? Sabi niya sa morning, pagising ko, kumakain ako ng pandesal. Mm-hmm. Tapos mga LSGs, kakain ako ng saging. Tapos alas 12, kakain ako ng rice na at ulam. Mm-hmm. Tapos mga alas 12, kakain naman ulit ng saging. Mm-hmm. Tapos mga 5, kakain naman ulit. And by dinner, kakain naman ulit ng... Mm-hmm. ng rice and all those, no? At kapag gabi, meron pang gatas na, mm-hmm. na akala naman natin yung sobrang healthy talaga na we feel like kapag inoon tayo ng gatas at the end of the day, it's already very healthy. But, all of those things are just too much. Uh, kapag hindi ko nyo pa experience yan, it may sound so impossible. But sa totoo lang, sobrang sobra na talaga yung mga pagkain na yun. Tapos na ano ako, na tatak ako sa dahil sa energy dap, dapat ma, uh, na wala ka ng rice parang sabi yes. ba dati na wala ka ng energy mas mas feeling ko mas mas lalo pa kung naging energetic pag, yes ano, exactly kahit, kahit maglago ng basketball ganito na makakailang games na parang hindi ka ano hindi hinar- ka hinar- yes hinar- because the reason why 
ang kapag nasanay ka na with low carb and fasting, you are not only using glucose as your energy source. Kasi yung glucose, ang tawag natin finite or limitado. You have to eat from time to time para ma-replenish yung glucose stores mo. But when you are actually fueling on ketones, which is somewhat like unlimited uh, yung amount sa katawan natin, like with your build, meron kang mga good for minimum of 80 days of fasting na hindi ka mamamatay. Oh, kapag as lang as again, uh, feel mo lang yung mga braso mo, meron pa yan. So as long as you still have that, you're fueling on ketones, hindi-hindi ka magugutong. Uh, kung meron ka mang nafe-feel na parang magugutom ka na mm. or parang nauuhaw ka na, those are mostly likely related to water, electrolytes, or vitamins and minerals, but not actually on calories. Because yung katawan natin, makakaka, mak- mabubuhay with very minimal calories as long as meron pa tayong fat sa katawan natin. So, uh, those who are actually eating so much and still hinihingal, it's because of the burden, it's because of the weight na sobrang bigat na ng katawan nila and yung katawan actually nila hindi makaproduce ng necessary energy for the needed work because it is busy digesting foods. Mm. Alam mo ba na merong thermic effect yung food? Every time na kumakain ka, 10 to 25% ng energy na kinakain mo, pupunta sa pag-digest mismo. Oh, oh, ganun ka grabe yung, ganun ka grabe ka demanding yung, ano, yung, yung uh, food intake natin. So, we cannot really have the necessary repair, necessary mm-hmm. healing ng kailangan natin because we are making our body on the Kaya pa yan about healing, yes. kung may masugat man ako, mas madali mag-heal. Oh. At saka kwentuhan mo, yung every time alam mong na, meron kang nakakain na extra carbs. Ah, for example, nag, 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 may cake. Nung minsan hindi ka makain di. Kain ah, ka din ng cake. Tapos plus may salad pa. Kain ka din. Ah, sige lang, bawiin ko lang pagkat. Pero kung gabi, may mga, mga, mga sugat-sugat sa... Oh, yung parang mouth oh, ulcers na oh, mga oh, maliliit. Oh, maliliit. Oh, eh, napang magsisisi ka, kaya sipo ko, maain ako ng mm. carbs na naman at saka mm. yung gano'n, gano'n. Mm. Biglang, uh, so, if we can remember, no, I think isa tayo sa pamilya na mara, mga parating merong, merong mouth ulcers. Yung kang, canker sore. Yung, yung mga, singaw. singaw mm. yung, I think noon tayo ay isa sa marami na And in research, actually, hindi talaga malaman when it comes to science, ano talaga ang root niyan. Sabi ng iba, vitamin C deficiency, yung, yung iba, kung ano-anong whatever uh. na deficiency. Pero ngayon, that we are into low carb, we feel like nagkakasingaw tayo na, ng madali kapag nakakain tayo ng too much sugar. Okay? Because that is really inflammation. And kahit in medical world, yung mouth ulcers, unknown yung root cause niyan. Pero sinasabi, it is commonly found among people who are above the uh, who are ha, who are having above the social economic status yung parang mayayaman well off or something like that it's because they are well fed Ah, well fed. Well fed, meaning too much too intake much. of food. So, ngayon, nasanay na tayo. I think, I can, I can no longer remember when was the last time na meron akong singaw. But before, it's like an everyday thing na mm. yung singaw natin. Ngayon, naalala mo na na whenever you eat a little more oh. carbs, nagkakaroon. Oh. Ako actually, yung effect sa akin is more on allergy. So, kating kate Yung whole palat ko sa itaas, sobrang kate. So, alam kong if I'm eating too much of that. And did you know na our mouth is actually a window kung anong nasa loob ng tiyan natin. Because mm. our our gastrointestinal system, our gut, no, which is uh, considered as our seat, seat of our health as well. Na if you have healthy gut, actually, pwedeng-pwede. Kaya si Dr. Ano yan, Gerson, uh-huh. he's always focusing on gut cleansing, di ba? Uh-huh. Sa mga ano niya. Si Dr. Gerson is a... Nakano mo na yung ano niya? Hindi pa. Pinentuhan mo lang ako. Uh-huh. Pinentuhan mo lang ako. So, si Dr. Gerson, sabi mo, before pa siya sa time ni Hitler. Uh-huh. Uh, during sa time ni Hitler. Right. Parang grabe, meron siya maraming unconventional na mga techniques on healing. And I think parang he was assassinated. Uh-huh. Uh, parang ganon. Pero, uh, he was focusing on gut cleansing, detoxification, as a means to heal almost everything, kahit mm-hmm. mga cancer pa, no? Uh-huh. So, uh, uh, I mentioned that because our gut pati is Alzheimer's. really, really, pati Alzheimer's, lahat-lahat. Uh-huh. Lahat. Kasi yung Alzheimer's, meron siyang theory about leaky gut. I know, I'm not sure mm-hmm. if you've heard about leaky gut. Yung <laughs> akala natin before, nung naka, first time ko marinig yung leaky gut, akala ko, ano, parang diarrhea, diarrhea mm-hmm. yung nag mm-hmm. Pero hindi pala. Leaky gut is a process na kapag inflamed yung uh, gastrointestinal system mo. So, gastrointestinal system will actually start from the mouth, from your lips, 
Is down to your anus. Ah. Uh, down to your anus. So it's digestive like system. digestive system. So ma- lips, mouth, throat, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and, des- and then anus. Okay? So yun yun. So what we can see, hindi naman natin dinitingnan yung anus natin. So <laughs> what we can actually just see is our mouth. So our mouth, our health, our mouth health, our oral health is actually a window. Kung ano gano ka healthy yung loob natin. So if we are prone to having mouth ulcers, merong mga crack lips, merong mga uh, canker sores, no? Yung mga singaw, those are actually indications that your body is also in under inflammation nasa loob loob mo. So it's no wonder while well, yung mga taong parating merong mouth sores, merong may mga crack sa lips. Those are also the same people always uh, complaining about GERD, about mm. hyperacidity. Mm. Yung sila pa yung ayaw na ayaw magfasting, kasi nga sa sabi nila, kasi nga na baka mag hyper yung ano nila, baka ulcer sila or all those. Eh, may ano ako may chipmate namin. Ano nagagalang pa lagi na asid 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 dito sila mm. asid na sakit naman pang susukas lang suka mm. ayaw. Ang, ang pinag ano nila yung fresh milk ay Uh, mga, uh, lactose intolerant. Uh, no, no. Pero sabi ko, na, na, nag-advise ako sa kanya, try mo lang na, na, na ano, no rice ka lang. Na, na, na. Uh, nag-try naman siya. Po, na, na, a, ano pa rin daw, mas lalo daw kasi nang ang sa isip niya na pag wala kang kanin, kanin. magka-uul siya oh, ka na talaga. Oo, parang kakainin na yun. Na, na, na pinapanood ko yung video mo na about doon sa all, all sorts uh, na yun. Hyperacidity and iterative fasting. Hyperacidity na, ganun. Kung mga 3 days lang, itutubukan mo, after nga mga 3 days, na wala na. Hmm. Hanggang, tapos may ano pa sa, sa parang nail psoriasis, yes. ang yung mukha. Oh. No, nag, nag-dry, nag-dry oh. na, nag-dry, tapos wala na talaga sa, tapos sabi niya, ya, parang, parang nag, ano daw sa nag, nag, nag-sacrifice daw sa gutom, nung no, uli daw, hindi na siya nagugutom. Oh, that's tapos, so true, oh, that's so nice. Hindi na siya nagugutom. Kaya eh, chipmate namin, oh, pag, pag, pag-uwi namin, sabay kami umuwi. Ano na, inang, wala, no na. rice na talaga siya, no, oh, no rice at saka ano. That's so nice. No. Kasi yun yung nakinakatakot nila. They oh. never actually surpassed that moment, yung parang gutom. Natatakot sila. Because those people actually experience severe pain. Hmm. Kaya kapag um, uh, parang uh, nagsastart pa lang mag-build up yung acid, alam na nila, natatakot na sila. So what they do is they eat. What they don't know is the acid secretion is triggered by food. Mm-hmm. Na actually, kapag wala kang nilagay na pagkain sa chan mo, it will just stop. It will just stop. Hindi ka kainin ng katawan mo ang kanyang sariling katawan that way, in an, uh, in an acidic way. Hindi yan nangyayari. So, that's why we give it time, no? Hindi pwedeng one day lang, one meal lang, and then especially meron pang insulin effect, carbohydrate effect that can that is worse during the first 18 hours. So, grabe yun. So, hyperacidity and GERD are functions of inflammation coming from sugar, coming from insulin, and not really about fasting. In fact, katayo, I fasted. Ano nga, gani ka tagal yung pinakamatagal mo? 72 hours? No, no 93. Wow! Sa, kasi sa, sa life up, dapat ang plano ko doon, dapat ang 72 hours lang. Yes. Tapos, kung kaya pa naman ha, tapos uh, yan, yeah. nag-extreme. Yeah. Nag, nag, ano ko yan? Naglago kami na... Basketball? Hindi, in a computer. Ah, Parang dota, okay. dota, dota, dota kami, gada-gada. Mm. Agad, uy, na, ano, naka, hanggang nakatulog na ako. Uy, wow. nag-92 na, 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 hours. It's so nice. 93 hours. Yung na. pinakamaganda talaga, yung itutulog mo. Kasi overnight lang, pag-isip mo, uh, habang-haba na lang yung uh, pinag-fast mo. So, those are actually really good. So, oh, pa, ano na tayo? Low bat na ba tayo? Wait, tingnan natin. How long? Six minutes more? Sige, tulong tayo. Hingi tayo kay Bobby. Bobby, charger please. Sige, wingi tayo ng charger. And meron actually maraming nag, ano, nag, nag-greet sa'yo ng happy birthday. Kaya lang hindi ko oh, makita hindi dito. Ko so, pero merong mga nag-share ng iba. So, low carbon fasting from 86 down to 76. 76. Four weeks ago. So, silent reader here from Quantum of the Seas. Si Ferrer din. Si Mon Fernandez. Wow! I think meron din tayong friend, no? Na yung, ano, yung kapatid ni Doc Andy. Na kapitan din ng barko. Si ah, JR. Ah, okay. Kaya, uh, ano din yun? Nagpa-fasting din yun. Oo. Uh-huh. I remember, I'm not sure kung, naka, kung na-remember mo, pero meron si yung Lemuelo. time. Si Lemuel, nandito si Lemuel naman din. Good uh-huh. evening, Doc and Boss Andrew. Watching from? Roger. From the Pacific Ocean. Wow. Oh, charger. Ano tayo, charger? 
Thank you. Ay, no, no, no. Charger ng laptop. <laughs> Charger ng laptop na sa kabilang, ano, na sa kabilang table. Anyway, we still have six minutes. Thank you so much to our supportive family. Uh, Roby, Roby from Mozambique, no? And Mohammed. Ah, Dr. Yusuf, beta. which one is better, fasting or low carb? So I think I remember, I'm not sure if you can recall, but since uh, we actually first ano talaga, applied fasting before low carb, yung extended fasting, and I know no, na hindi pa kayo open on before, and, uh, pero halos sabay na rin fasting and low carb. Tapos sinabihan kita na mag low carb na wag na mag-rice. Tapos yung sagot mo sa akin na lang ba no? Eh magpo-fasting na lang ako. But wag mo pakialaman yung rice ko. <laughs> yung yung sinabi mo, oh, mag-1 meal a day ka na lang o ano or sabi mo magpo-fasting ka ng ng longer pero wag na wag kong pakialaman yung rice mo. So actually, yung sinabi mo yon, parang okay, yan yung gusto mo. Kasi when it comes to optimum health, uh, I really believe fasting and low carb you should go together. But if you cannot do that, at least do one. Wow. And eventually, when you do when you do at least one, makikita mo talaga na you are improving somewhat like as compared to those high carb food at walang fasting, pero eventually magkakaroon ka ng state na alam mo na it's not enough. Na you will still you, know, you will strive for something that is much much better when it comes to optimizing health. And say yo, hindi alam mo hindi ako umukulit sa yo, di ba? Hindi hmm. kita kinukulit, hinayaan lang kita kung gusto mo. Because <laughs> <laughs> ngayon, ayan di ba, na nasa ano ako, ano pang dirty diet. Uh, Parang, kasi bitsan pag may may retcho plan, kainin ako. Uh, kaya ganun. Tapos bami lang. Oh, kasi sa isip ko, ah, maka maka fasting after nito mag mag extended fasting muna ako. Tapos parang ibalik ko lang ba? Uh, Pero nang pang-happy na ko kung ano ko ngayon, kung, i- kung ikumpaka ko ang self ko sa, sa before, before ko. Before, oh, before ka pa nagsimula lang. Oh, Thank you so much, Pero plano ko talaga, maging ano na, maging... As much as possible, oh, as much no? As possible. If we can do, oh, ano talaga, Mas ano talaga, oh, para kung gusto mo maging... Oh, maging uh, better Healthier. yung uh, oh, maging so. yung health natin is hindi talaga uh, yung parang back and forth kasi mm. although it's good that now we already know and given that we already know hindi ibig sabihin that we are no longer vulnerable mm. to eat high carb we're, we're just at humans saka, we're just humans at saka tama talaga sa book mo na yon na maging ma-improve nyo ang relationship mo with food kasi dati hindi ka lang talaga makahindi sa food yeah. Ngayon, minsan makahindi ako, minsan ano din. But you are no, you are already in control. Yeah, I am in control. Uh, uh, hindi lang yung kung ano dyan niya, parang marupo ka lang at lahat-lahat. Pero now you are in control. Come here, Onyx girl. Up. So, Onyx girl is here. Sasali siya sa atin. So, we have Leanne, watch ya. Tita Army, Andrew, glad to see you in this live episode. Hello, Tita Army. Happy birthday and God, God bless you more. Si R.A. Kumakain na ako now ng saging. Isang sa per day. Bumaba kasi potassium ko. Natakot ako. Tapos gulay fish and chicken breast. Di naman lumalampas sa 50 grams yung carbs ko. Galing ako sa keto for 3 months. So, uh, keto. <laughs> ano ko? Anong is girl? No. So, uh, with low carb, one of the parang expected side effect is uh, low in potassium. Because, hindi siya dahil uh, para siyang abnormal incident but because when you do low carb you are no longer having so much glycogen sa system mo glycogen is the storage form of carbohydrates and aside from storing carbohydrates para siyang sponge na hmm. nagsustore din siya ng water nagsustore din siya ng electrolytes ah. so the moment you lose those glycogen you are actually excreting all those but together with those electrolytes so parang wala ka ng reserve so it's although it sounds like scary, but it's just as simple as you just need to make sure that you're consuming every day those electrolytes, which is basically sodium, salt, sodium. Huh, potassium, potassium that you can get from green leafy vegetables. And uh, CRA si sabi niya kumakain na siya ng saging ngayon. Actually, avocado is a better source of potassium. At kung hindi naman sasabihin na Manila na yung, yung avocado hindi season forever, we actually have cream of tartar. Yung cream of tartar na ginagamit sa, sa pang-bake, sa brasos mo. <laughs> Kasi alam mo ba, hindi siya nagluluto talaga before. Yung alam na niya lutoin, ano, itlog. Tapos sa uh, noon, kapag kung pansit ka doon at kung magsasaing yan, sobrang hindi ko alam kung paano siya maglinis ng, ng bigas before na maraming bigas na nasa sink. I think ni, tinatapon mo siya early na hindi pa siya nakapag-settle. Tinatapon mo siya agad kasi mabilisan. mabilisan. So, uh, short, uh, uh, in short, wala talaga siya experience with kitchen. But now, since naglo-low carb na siya at wala siyang asahang magluto sa kanya sa barko, nar- naka-ano siya, 
naka somewhat somewhat naka learn naka learn ng mag experiment at somewhat ngayon inclined na siya into comfortable na siya in the kitchen na so meron ka na experience so kilala mo na ang cream of tartar oh. i'm so proud of you <laughs> so actually cream of tartar is a potassium It's, it's made of potassium. Per, per one teaspoon, parang meron siyang mga, magkano yun? Around 250 milligram of potassium. So, that's already okay. Kung other sources would be new salt. So, yung new salt, I think uso siya sa, in America and in Europe, yung mga natatakot before sa salt na sodium base. So, gumawa sila ng salt na potassium base. So, meron tayo. Oh, I think meron tayo dito. I think salt. meron tayo. Ah, so, yeah. hindi kami nag advertise ha? So, this one. So, this is a salt substitute. So, tingnan mo. Away potassium. It's made of potassium. Ah, made of because, potassium. Uh, because Pero yung... Pero asodium din. Wala na. No? Ah, wala Kasi na. nga, di ba, nauso nga yung low salt diet. So, yung ah. low salt diet, they made an alternative. So, we can... It's not that we are afraid of salt. Because actually, we believe na it's essential. We need that. But it's good to have a natural okay. source of potassium na madali. Kasi uh-huh. hindi always available yung avocado eh. Hindi naman yung tayo... Sometimes, magaling. kainin mo yung uh, potassium as salt. Sometimes, potassium as uh, salt din. Na salt talaga yun. Oh, uh, or you can do half and half. Half and half. Oh, oh. Pwede half and half so that you can have the okay. necessary salt taste. No, or pwede ganyan. So, those are, ano, uh, so with RA na sinasabi niya, kinukuha niya from, from banana, so alam niyo naman that fruits are actually our incaution list. Not because na hindi talaga tayo pwede na kumain ng fruits. When caution, ibig sabihin, we can still take them, but we have to be very mindful whenever we take them. It's not noon na unlimited, like isang, ano, nang saging yung 10 pieces, ano tawag uh, na, yung sipi. Is, sipi. <laughs> uh, so, one whole of that of saging you can eat on your own just because it's senorita, yung maliliit. Di ba? Uh, I think we, we can, before, we can eat like 10 or 12 of that in one sitting before. But the, the problem with that is you can easily overeat or go overboard with your carbohydrate allowance of the day. Okay, so one banana can already give you 20 grams of net carbs. So 20 mm-hmm. grams of net carbs may not sound much, but it's actually equivalent to 4 teaspoons of white sugar. Oh, sugar pa din. Sugar pa din, okay? At saka may nano, one banana daw, 25% on car- carbohydrates yan. 25% uh, sa, Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, carbohydrates can be divided into fiber, uh, starch, and sugar. Mm-hmm. So fiber, we don't usually count that kasi hindi naman yan digestible sa katawan natin, lumalabas na yan. Although, it, strictly speaking, meron talaga siyang 2 grams of net carbs. Yung sinasabi natin net carbs, yung parang how much of those can be converted into glucose sa katawan mo? Mm-hmm in comparison with pure glucose. Uh, yung parang ganun. So, gluca- glu- uh, sugar can be converted into glucose. Starch is a complex carbohydrate that once broken down, magiging glucose pa din. It's just a matter of time. No? They may not spike your blood sugar as fast kasi nga, kailangan pa siyang mag-go through ng process of, of breaking, it, breaking it down to simpler forms. But eventually, it will still increase your blood sugar. And yung, that's why we are not just concerned of glycemic index. Yung, yung amount of glucose na magsuspike ng, ng, sa dugo natin. But also of insulin index. Yung effect na insulin sa ating katawan. Diba? So, um, Sumaya. Hello, Doc and Bro. May Salas. Good evening po. From Agusan, Mohamed Yusuf. Alanin, alanin transaminase. Thank you, Alanin transaminase. So, that's ALT. Thank you for correcting Dr. Yusuf. It's been a while. I've been using them. I've been using the the acronyms for so long, the abbreviations for so long. Nakalimutan ko anong ano, alanin transaminase. So that's ALT. That's uh, similar to SGPT. Okay. So Anne Abeliana Kasia, can you share why is frozen meat needs to be avoided or why it's not good? Actually, I don't say that it shouldn't be avoided, especially if that if that's the only source. We are trying as much as possible. Fresh organic meat is the best. But we are practical. And when we say practical, we maximize what is there. So fresh frozen meats, sometimes mostly it's coming from from farms na ano talaga, highly processed farms na all dependent feeds. on feeds, no? Not no more no more grass fed. So when it's no longer grass fed, so we all know that the kind of quality of meat is actually not that much. So they may have the same proteins, but they will not have the same multivitamins. They will no longer <laughs> have the same. Especially sa bako, hindi namin mapili kung 
Oh, kung ano lang. Kung ano sa amin. Oh. Basta mag-order kami ng meat, oh. hindi namin uh, alam oh. ko. So that's why, bayan, so ano. that's why meat, whenever we consume them, kahit na under siya sa ating safe list, but we have to remember that by nature, yun yung parati natin sinasabi. We are not actually made to eat every day. Hmm. Whether it's meat, it's vegetables or whatever, we are not just made to eat every day. Hmm. From time to time, we need to fast. And one way, that's one way to counter all those foods na quite unhealthy na para ma-cleanse tayo. So we can always have a good restart. So whether it's coming from meat and all those. So uh, moderation, yun nga sabi natin, I think uh, Bobby, our brother Alvin said na one line that he recalled in book two is moderation, moderation is safe, safe and safe, safe is good. Yeah. Okay? So yun tayo. Pag uh, SJ Umbrick, Pag tropa si provision master, you get all the choice of food na gusto mo. Kudos to all the chef na mababait at masarap ng luto. Kaya nga siya ang, inano ko, ang, ang chef namin doon. Ah. Inang pinapabayaan niya ako, kaya pasalamat talaga ako sa kanya. Ay, <laughs> minsan na ng mga chef na gano'n, no. napabayaan ka lang. Kasi oh. sa kanilang lugar uh, It's their turf. Oh. Yung kitchen sa kanila talaga yun. Pero yun niya lang ako. Uh, ka, alam at alam, mo, alam naman yung hindi ka abusado. Uh, and actually... Siya si Desiderio, konsumo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ang yun yung pangalan niya. Uh, Alam mo ba, nasabi nila, your name daw will uh, has a bearing on what kind of person that uh, you become. So, Desiderio is more on deciding. Uh, Consume is food. Consumption. Yeah, consumption. So, bagay na bagay talaga sa kanya yung pangalan niya. Pang-chef talaga. talaga. Pang mayor ba yun? Siya mayor. yung mayor. Yeah, so, siya, siya yung mayor. So, that's really amazing. And, uh, he, of course, he knows that you can't really overeat. In fact, I'm quite sure that you are actually consuming less than your ano talaga, mm. yung allotted budget sa'yo. Mm. Eating just one meal a day. By research, no? Eating three, four times a day and eating one meal, kahit ano pa, eat as much as you can, you can never eat beyond how much you can eat as compared you're eating three or more times a day. Because our capacity, our stomach's capacity, one liter. That's one all. Liter lang. One liter lang yun. Pero kung papractisin mo siya, magsistretch siya. <laughs> <laughs> so, pwede. Kung gusto mong ganyan, <laughs> pwede din yan. Pero, on average, on average, our stomach can only take one liter. Okay? So, if you drink no matter, water ba? Anong, anong what, what size? Uh, on average. average. And what size? Uh, sabi natin, <laughs> yung, uh, yung ibang matataba, akala natin malaki tao talaga sila. Like, akala mo yung bones sila malapad din or all those. Actually, hindi. Our same. bone frame is still the same. It's still the same. Taba big lang bone, talaga. Big bone na talaga ako. <laughs> <laughs> Nakita mo ba yung meme na yun? Yung uh-huh. big bone. Yung sobrang laki talaga ng bone niya. Which is really not true. Uh-huh. Tapos meron akong friend. I'm not sure hindi siguro na nanonood. But may, I have a good friend in med school. Tapos yun talaga yung, uh, hindi, big bone ka kasi parang kasi Garfield. Yun yung pinapasok niya talaga sa, <laughs> sa isipan ko noon. Hindi ka mataba. Hindi ka mataba. Big bone ka. Parang kasi Garfield. You know? <laughs> so, so, anong ibig sabihin nun? So, it's actually not true. When we consider as yeah, big bone, there's no such thing as big bone. Ha? Ang problem nga yan with those people who are really overweight is mar- mas unhealthy ang kanilang bone because their bone is carrying so much weight. Okay. Uh, so, yun. That's why they have problem with uh, always merong ano, mar- merong ankle pain, merong foot pain, mm. plantar pain, yung kapag magtapa ka, sumasakit, yung mga back pain because it's actually the bones and uh, that's uh, that's uh, carrying all the weight na excess na. So, I'm so sorry, hindi kami nakapag-proper Q&A kasi hindi ko makita. Suppose hindi dito lumalabas yung, ano, yung questions. But something happened. So, dito na lang. So, Zintz Vanji from Cook Island. Toy Toy Bots, happy birthday. Julia Carillo from Denmark. And fasting is healthy diet. As so far, I'm still in 162 hours. Amazing, no? Wow. Before, hindi ba noon, I, I can remember the first time I heard about fasting. Hindi ako makapaniwala may mga taong kuma, hindi kumakain every day. Tapos na meron pa ako nakita yung mga tao, ginagawa daw nila for years, kumakain sila isang beses lang sa isang araw. Tapos hindi ako makapaniwala. Hmm. Tapos nung natanggap ko na yun, meron naman ako nabasa, kumakain sila isang beses sa dalawang araw. Grabe git! So those pala are ADF, alternate day fasting, and nagwawan nila day sila. And nung later on, nang nakita ko merong nagpa-fasting ng 20 days, 30 days, marong 100 days, ah, yun, dun na, sinimulan ko na yung extended fasting. Oo, mm-hmm. pero those people mostly then are morbidly obese. They have like two two extra people <laughs> that they're carrying on their weight. So, yun, and they're also guided. So, it's really good. 
So, good PM. I am an HSV. So, it's a virus uh, carrier. LC diet advisable for me. So, sinasabi natin, regardless of, of whatever uh, whatever condition that you have, a low-carb diet is of no contraindication. Kasi, mm -hmm. it's just making sure that you're eating just the what is natural food for humans. Kung hindi man siya makakapagpagaling sa'yo, at least, at the very least, it will not, not add further damage. Yun na talaga yun. Parang yun yung bare minimum natin. So, Chloe Nikashio. Chloe is, uh, is uh, our good friend from Japan. Nagkikita mo yan parate? Sa low-carb. Sa low-carb group. group. And also uh, our uh, moderator. Welcome home to your playmate. Yes, uh, playmate talaga kami. Kaming tatlo ni Bobby kasi kami yung lower batch siya. Ano yung magkakapatid. <laughs> And Josephine Ross, good evening. So, thank you. We are almost time. So, thank you so much for being with us. Tingnan natin kung meron bang question dito. So, ano na lang, last, uh, if you have a tip sa mga tao, sa mga like for sure, we have listeners na meron mga family members or loved ones na ano din, na seaman. Uh, how can they make us it sustainable? Paano magparang healthy, low carb while nasa barko, while on board? Mm, ano lang, yan, inang, uh, try mo na mag ano, mag, wag mo na mag, mag, mag fast fasting agad. Uh, ano lang, yung skip lang muna ng breakfast. Uh, yes, timad yung timad two meals a day. Two meals a day, uh, skip mo lang muna yung ano tapos walang rice, walang wala na muna ng rice tapos after nang walang rice, eh eh skip na muna. Pasanay, oh, pasanay muna, muna, muna ng walang rice. Mm. Tapos mag ano ka muna mag twice um, uh, two, two, meals, two a meals a day. Kahit Ta ano no, kana yung sabi natin, eat all you can during that two meals. Uh, tapos i-avoid talaga ah, mag, may ano talaga may uh, dinner wala na wala na mga midnight snack walang mga midnight snack ang next mo na meal sa ano talaga Pagka, sa proper sa oh, proper what, what, meal time oh, kasi sa sa barko talaga ano may 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 breakfast tapos alas gis na coffee time tapos um, uh, the lunch tapos at 3 o'clock uh, tapos 5 o'clock, tapos may uh, 9 p.m. Oh, meal, tapos may, 12, like may midnight pa. Oh my God, uh, so 6 yeah, meals a day. Uh, Kasi uh, how about yung ano, yung yung naka night shift? Ngayon, kaya kung yung sinong gising pa, mga kaysabay uh, na rin. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kasi total uh, nandiyan uh, naman. Uh, uh, so, part of it, uh, para sa akin, uh, part of it is knowing na hindi talaga essential kumain uh, that often. Secondly, yung isa sa pinaka-importante dyan, as much as there is available food, meron talagang presence of self-control. 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 Importante uh, talaga. Ah, yan ang ano, kasi kung self-control, madideplete yung self-control yeah. mo na ganun. Uh. Hanggang one week, makamake a habit na. Parang habit mo na, uh. Uh, hindi, 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 na, mo na hindi, mo, hindi mo na pipigilan sa sarili mo na makukuha ng rice. Uh, one, one week, two weeks, wala na. Wala, uh, wala na. Habit na. Ha, coming from you, no? Uh, Nagrabe. Alam mo ba, nung kumakain kami before, nung bata pa kami, wrong yung rice yung ganon. Tapos, <laughs> meron siya mga secret. <laughs> Kasi, meron siya tinatagong ulam sa suloob ng rice niya. So, sinabi, anong meron yun? Parang meron eating dyan. So, <laughs> Kasi, yung nilagay niya sa plate niya, ang dami-daming rice, yung dami-daming rice, at nahuubos niya yun. Uh, at kapag may nagbabaon kami to school, yung pinipilian na lang dalawa ng, ni Alvin, I, I know, a lot of you already know Alvin, na yung pinipili nilang baunan, yung pinakamalaki. Uh, yung pinakamalaki yung baunan, yung sisid lang. Tapos lahat yun, i-maximize na rice na. Rice lahat. Rice lahat na. Kukuha ng isang lalagyan para sa ulam, pero yung yung pinakamalat talaga, make sure na punong-puno yan ang rice. At sobrang siksik. Dahil naniwala kami sa rice is life dati. Dati. But now, ano na? Life without rice. Life without rice. So, life without rice and sugar is actually sweeter kapag healthy ka. Onyx girl, so bad. So, I think we already we are already time no so thank you so much for having us uh mamaya i'll actually go live again around nine o'clock with dr iris redev so uh we it will be simulcast through filipino success movement na facebook channel then and i hope to see you there it's another episode of more getting to know you low carb nutrition and fasting and everything in between and for the enrollees of LCF Masterclass. We will see you tomorrow for that uh, another day of full pack, jam pack learning. And tomorrow's uh, lesson is about low carb nutrition. So, si Onyx Girl, mahal na maya talaga si Mandrew. Okay, so that's it for now. Maraming salamat po. Always remember to stay low carb so that we will all stay safe. Bye-bye! Thank you!